morning, my name's Mark Pack, I'm co-editor of Liberal Democrat Voice. I'm here up bright and early on a Sunday morning for the Liberal Democrat Conference in Birmingham. Looking through the agenda for today, a few things I think likely to stand out and be the main talking points through the day. Firstly, the very first item being debated in the main conference hall today is a motion to do with the security accreditation and checking processes for people wanting to come to party conference. These processes have been very controversial within the party, partly because of some matters of principle about the degree to which uh, the police should be checking up on people and should be involved in deciding who can or can't come to conference. Partly also because the communication around the process has been within the party extremely poor and Andrew Wiseman, chair of conference committee, sort of conceded that in one of his reports yesterday to conference and he, he did personally apologise for that. And also there have been some issues around how well the process, even within the rules that have been, been agreed for, for Birmingham, how well the process has actually been run. The other motion, which I think is, is likely to be not controversial when it comes to people deciding how to vote, but likely to catch the media's eye rather more and probably cause one or two irate uh, bits of editorialising in, in some newspapers, is a motion later in the day looking at potentially decriminalising or part decriminalising some drugs in Britain. It's, it's a very long and detailed motion. It's also a very cautious motion with up to 51 lines, really, of text explaining and creeping up on the issue before it actually calls for anything and what it does call for is essentially a review but a review to look at the experience in other countries countries such as Portugal where personal possession of drug use is no longer something the police concentrate on as a crime fighting matter but in fact is treated much more as a social and health matter that sort of approach to drugs policy in Britain has always been very popular within the Liberal Democrats in the past I, as I said I suspect the media will not necessarily treat it as kindly as Liberal Democrat representatives will Two keynote speeches at a conference during the day today. One from Sarah Tedder, Education Minister. Uh, she also gave a speech at the Liberal Democrat rally last night where a few of her, her jokes poking fun at other politicians fell rather, rather flat. Uh, so I'm sure she'll be hoping to put in a much stronger performance today. But the keynote speech that will be getting, I suspect, the most attention is the one from Dali Alexander, Chief Secretary to the Treasury. Some of the content of that's been heavily trailed in the media this morning. He's likely to be talking about the need to make sure that the richest people in the country pay a fair share of the overall tax burden. And as part of that, are plans to employ more tax inspectors to ensure that people who try to avoid paying their share, their fair share of the tax burden, find it much harder to avoid that in future. Lots of other fringe meetings, lots of other events happening during the day. Myself, I'm going to be in meetings almost all day talking about boundary commissions, but if you do want a roundup of the day, I know one thing you can watch out for at the end of the day is Westminster Hour on Radio 4, where I'll be appearing along with other Liberal Democrats talking about what's happened at conference so far and looking forward to the rest of the week. So I hope you enjoy today.